Survivor Series and Faith is in the building. Good morning, Faith. Good morning. How are you doing? Very fine. How okay. are you? Fine, thank you. Kosalama. Sana. First things first, you're looking good, Faith. Thank I, you. I so. love the black dress. <laughs> thank you. How long did you take to prepare today? Just 10 minutes. Ten. Beautiful girls don't take time in the mirror. <clears throat> <laughs> For real, 10 minutes. Exactly. Imagine Zuli <laughs> 25. <laughs> 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 25 minutes. I, I, I usually take less than 10. Ananionea. Asante Faith. Karibu sana na nasudu zetu za radio zaidi ya radio subu ya leo. Asante. Um, story yako amazing sana. Mm-hmm. Wacha tuyanzia mwanzo tu. Mm-hmm. Na kwa wali ambao hajawe kuisikia Faith, mm-hmm. waeleze tu story yako. Uh, Faith, mwanzo naitwa Faith Msoli. Mm-hmm. Uh, mimi nimesomea wanahabari mm-hmm. ila sina kazi bado. Ora, ngoja kwanza. Hapo kwa wanahabari. <laughs> so liko nataka kuwa nini? <laughs> Presenter, producer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, jifanya basi una present maisha asubuhi. Uh, karibu katika radio maisha. Jina langu ni Faith Msoli katika kipindi hiki tunaongelelea uh, Survivor series uh-huh. na katika studio tunaye Sugar Boy. <laughs> 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 amazing amazing amazing. Ukipatia practice kidogo tu, <laughs> haitaweza, haitaweza. <laughs> Labda utafungua YouTube channel maybe. Ushafungua? Mm. Ushafungua. Yep. Okay? Mm-hmm. Ta subscribe. Tutakuwa natuambia baadaye YouTube channel ni gani. Mm-hmm. Eh, so Faith Mutoli amesomea uandishi wa habari. Yes. Nina watoto wanne, mimi ni mama na mimi ni bibi ya mtu. Ngoja. Watoto wanne? <laughs> yes. How? You don't look like you have four. I have four triplets and one girl. What? Ah. Unaona watu wameji maintain sugar. Si hata tunakaa wazee na bado wengine tujazaa. Eh. Kwa hivyo Faith uh, miaka nane iliyopita nilianza kujihisi ni kama kila wakati nasikia mimi ni mgonjwa but sikujua kwamba ni nini hasa kilichokuwa kinanisumbua. Kwa hivyo nikaanza ku move from one hospital to another and Within hiyo safari ya kutafuta matibabu nikawa kwamba daktari hawajui hasa nini kinachonisumbua mm-hmm. and kwa hivyo kulikuwa na so many misdiagnoses sasa mara mingi sana nikaikwa katika madawa ambazo uh, hazikuwa za ile ugonjwa ambayo nilikuwa ninagonjeka mm-hmm. but sasa come 2017 nikaenda kuona uh, daktari then daktari akanituma kwamba Faith enda ufanye x-ray because nilikuwa natembea nikasikia ni ni kama mguu wangu nakata kutembea kwa hivyo i walked into a hospital nikaambia daktari ni kama ninasikia maumivu ambayo this time round ni severe sana kwa hivyo akanielezea kwamba enda ufanye x-ray so nikaenda nikafanya x-ray after nimeleta back results akaniambia Faith, you need to act with immense speed. So, enda ufanye CT scan. So, I, nikaenda nikafanya CT scan. After kufanya CT scan, nikarudi akaniambia Faith, you need to act right now. Enda ukaone daktari ambaye atakusaidia. Kwa hivyo, nikaenda, nikaenda Nairobi West Hospital. Kufika kule, wakaniambia I have a tumor on the pelvic bone. Na hiyo tumor inafaktolewa. Kwa hivyo, nikakuwa admitted kufanyiwa surgery na the same same day nilikuwa nifanyiwe surgery okay nimesahau ku mention kwamba I'm an orphan so i uh, dadangu ambaye amenilea nikapigiwa simu nikaambiwa kwamba dadako amepata ajali na amepoteza mkono wow. sasa ikawa kwamba mimi ni ku admitted na yeye ako admitted sasa nikafanyiwa hiyo surgery Sikufanyiwa mwanzo nikaambiwa nitoke niende nitafute hospitali a cheaper one. So nikatolewa, nikaenda nikafanyiwa surgery mali kwingine. Wakati nimefanyiwa hiyo surgery, daktari akaniambia uko sawa, nenda nyumbani, you don't have cancer. Sasa hiyo ni surgery ya kwanza. 
two years later nika realize tena uh, maumivu sasa this time round extreme sana mm-hmm. sasa ikakuwa kwamba tena niende nifanye another surgery nikafanya another surgery na <clears throat> wakati nilipeleka matokeo results uh, the sample kwa lab nikaambiwa faith you have cancer wow. it took a toll on me of course lakini ilibidi nijipe moyo mm-hmm. Kwa sababu nilikuwa na mtoto ambaye ananihitaji kwa hivyo nikaanza matibabu pale mpisha na kabla tu nianze matibabu nakumbuka daktari akiniambia faith una, umeambiwa kwamba hutawahi pata mtoto tena nikawambia yes and then I went on and said uh, hatutaki wanze kukimbia up and down ukitupeleka kotini kwamba haukuambiwa enda ukatafute gynecologist akueleze uh, the results ambayo utapata after this one after the treatment mm-hmm. so nikaenda kuona daktari daktari akaniambia uh, ni harvest eggs mm-hmm. ndo niwe na uwezo ya kupata watoto baadaye mm-hmm. na nikikumbuka kwamba hata tu pesa ya matibabu peke yake nilikuwa sina enough nikaambia daktari wacha niweke Mungu mbele na nifanye the 33 sessions of radiotherapy mm-hmm. sasa nikaanza matibabu nikafanyiwa but amazingly a year later mm-hmm. after i had really already given up kabisa mm-hmm. kwamba siwezi pata mtoto nimepoteza matumaini kabisa mm-hmm. nika miss period si kuona hedhi kabla 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 ku miss period uh, faith yes uh, so alikwambia uko diagnosed na cancer gani exactly osteosarcoma cancer of the bone o cancer of the bone yes. ambayo ilikuwa ina affect paka kizazi yes okay uh-huh. sasa wakati nimemaliza treatment nikaenda nikafanya another pet scan mm-hmm. daktari akaniambia faith umepona sasa mm-hmm. hauna cancer tena wow okay aya later wakati nimepoteza matumaini mm-hmm. nikapoteza hedhi na siku sikushangaa sana kwa sababu ilikuwa one of the side effects ya treatment mm-hmm. kwa sababu daktari alikuwa ameniambia utahutaona hedhi kwa muda fulani mm-hmm. and usishangae so kwangu it was something normal hii siku ambayo umeenda pale ukakwambia so hauna cancer tena faith mm-hmm. what was going through your mind i was so happy mm-hmm. nilifurahi sana kwa sababu kile ambacho nilipitia kukosa usingizi si kwa hata na lepe la usingizi for like five years mm-hmm. i could ningeenda kwa kitanda kulala na silali mm-hmm. naangalia msiku yote asubuhi kija hata siwezi sinzia mm-hmm. kwa hivyo nilifurahi sana okay yes so one year later ukakosa hedhi yako yes okay sasa nika nikaambia bwanangu ah nimekosa hedhi na this time round inakaa si kama kawaida because nasikia some pains nasikia some nausea mm-hmm. nikasema let one month ikiisha nitaenda ni test mm-hmm. nione mm-hmm. then when nime test nikaona like ah, it's a positive test mm-hmm. but again si kwa na na nilishuku results nikasema wacha ningoje mm-hmm. nione kama tumbo itafura mm-hmm. so three months later naona tummy inaanza ku grow. Mm-hmm. So nikaenda clinic, the first clinic, and then uh, the doctor akakuwa like, "Faith, do you like surprises?" Mm-hmm. Ngasema, "Yes." And then he was like, "One, two, three. Wow. Hiyo ndo nambari ya watoto uliobeba. Eh? Mm. <laughs> <He? laughs> Triplets. Yes. Mm. He, 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 he. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kutoka kule unaambiwa uwezo ukapata tena mtoto. Mm. Yes. Sasa hii unaambiwa uko na triplets. Yes. We? So sasa hizo reaction yako reaction ya mzee si kuamini uh-huh. kwa sababu hakuna historia kabisa uh-huh. ya twins live alone triplets uh-huh. hakuna hiyo historia na huyu ni mama aliambiwa hawezi jifungua tena hata uh-huh. mtoto mmoja uh-huh. lakini sasa nina watatu nilishanga uh-huh. na nikasema yenyewe kuna Mungu anayeishi kweli amen So kabeba triplets wako nine months. Yes. Vizuri Apana, kabisa. Hapana si kubeba nine months uh-huh. walikuja very early. Okay. Walikuja at 30 weeks. Okay. Uh, the first one alikuwa na 1.5 kgs, mm-hmm. 1.4 mm-hmm. na 1.3. 
nikaishi hospitali for almost two months okay yes uh-huh. Waka... waka gain weight uh-huh. wakati tulikuwa tunatoka mkubwa alikuwa na 1.8 uh-huh. mwingine 1.8 mwingine 1.7 wow yes ukanyonyesha triplets paka ukamaliza yes wow na saizi wamekuwa wakubwa they are now seven months we <laughs> okay yes so kapata triplets umesema ni triplets alafu kuna mmoja mwingine yes first born msichana mkaamua tena acha tutafute mwingine hapana uh-huh. first born ni msichana uh-huh. alafu sasa triplets oh first born ni msichana yes so four first born years. first born alikuja peke yake alikuja peke yake yes four years ago okay alafu sasa triplets wako mm-hmm. seven months okay yes wow so mkalea vizuri na life hivi sasa Live ifi sasa imekuwa changamoto okay. sana uh, kwa sababu mimi sina kazi uh-huh. na siwezi sema kwamba mme wangu anaile pesa mingi ambayo anaweza like ukinunua diaper now you are buying times 3 mm. ukinunua nguo unanunua times 3 mm. like kila kitu ni times 3 mm. na imekuwa ngumu 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 sana mm-hmm kukimu hao watoto uh, it being kwamba mimi sina kazi mm-hmm. na ningependa ku, kusema ombi moja kwamba kama kuna muhisani yoyote ananisikiza mm-hmm. na anaweza nipa kazi mm-hmm. ili niweze kusaidia mme wangu kulea hao watoto mbele nitashukuru uko na specific ya kazi labda nimesomea utangazaji no. Lakini nikijiangalia vizuri naweza kituma mahali popote. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hata jeshi unaingia. Hata jeshi unaingia. Ai, <laughs> 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 yeah. so naweza kujituma mahali popote pale yes. so long as ni risk inapatikana. Yes. Okay, na how is it kulea hawa watoto by the way, Fei? Hi. Hakuna usingizi? Uh-huh. Hakuna kulala, mmoja akilala mwingine ameamka wawili wakilala mmoja ameamka wawili wakilia nja mmoja ameshiba mmoja wawili wanalia nja like uko busy all the time mm. hauna wakati wako mm. binafsi kwamba kuna wakati utapumzika ukaseme kwamba wacha nifanye kitu fulani ila lazima ni tenge ule wakati kwamba lazima nayo pia watoto ni watafutie so lazima pia nitenge ile wakati kwamba lazima ni watafutie kwa hivyo lazima nipate wakati wangu pia okay. mm. na na your sister my sister sasa akapona uh-huh. akawa yuko sawa na amekuwa mamangu niseme hivyo kwa sababu mimi nili nilipoteza wazazi nikiwa mchanga miaka kumi uh-huh. na dadangu ilibidi dadangu waolewe na sisi wote watano kwa hivyo amekuwa mama, amekuwa baba kwangu na ninamshukuru sana. Okay. Hmm. Na yuko hivi sasa anafanya kazi yeye. Yes, Life inaendelea. She's a nurse. Eh? Yes. Life yake inaendelea kama kawaida. Kabisa. Okay. Hmm. Um, kwa mara nyingi sana wakati ambapo watu wana, wanakuwa survivors wa cancer, mm-hmm. wanakuwa advocates uh, kwenda ku kuambia watu mengi tukusiana na masuala haya saratani mm-hmm. uh, faith labda do you have such a plan ya kwamba utakuwa pia advocate uh, wa mambo haya saratani na kuweza kusaidia wengine ambao wanapitia changamoto kama hizi faith nisha anza okay. ila sijapata ile big platform mm-hmm. but ninafanya on my youtube channel youtube channel yangu naitwa faith msoli mm-hmm. so ninafanya pale ninafanya content awareness on ni nini una look out for for you kujua kwamba una ugua cancer mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah. what do you look out for faith ah uh, kwanza mimi ninaweza sema kwamba bone cancer ni kitu ambacho ni ugonjwa ambao how how ji, you can't realize mm-hmm. haraka kwamba you have cancer bone cancer mm-hmm. in particular mm-hmm. kwa sababu ilinichukua miaka kama tano mm-hmm kujua kwamba nilikuwa na bone cancer okay. na huu muda wote ilikuwa inanikula na sikujua mm-hmm. so ilianza kama kusikia ni kama miguu inachomeka mm-hmm. lakini hujui ni nini kwa hivyo ningechukua miguu zangu nitumbukize ndani ya maji baridi and then i get the much relief nilikuwa nataka mm-hmm. and niliifanya kwa muda na sikujua kwamba ni nini ilikuwa inanisumbua mm-hmm. kwa hivyo kama una 
maumivu tuseme kama kwa miguu burning sensation unasikia ni kama miguu unachomeka unasikia ni kama uh, unasikia ni kama una joint pains unasikia ni kama una ile headache that never just goes away unasikia ni kama uh, ukitembea unachoka haraka ukifanya kazi unachoka haraka then is only some of the symptoms you should look out for okay mm. faith uh, we have four men ndani ya hii studio uh-huh. hii conversation tulikuwa nayo juzi uh-huh. buize uh-huh. na wakawa na tukawa tunaulizana uh-huh. wanaume haswa haswa na sijui kama ni kweli faith tutakuwa naongelea katika upande wa uh, both, both gender labda uko uh-huh. na hiyo experience manake uh-huh. ya kwamba wanaume wengi uh-huh. hawaendi kwa check up Mm-hmm. Buize unaendaga check up labda au paka uwe mgonjwa ndio ndio hospitali. Ni, ni ngumu sana. Siwezi <laughs> kataa. <laughs> paka uwe mgonjwa ndio uende hospitali. Sure. Okay. Producer Voke inakuwa noma sana. Mm. Kwa nini inakuwa noma? By the way mimi hata I can't recall the last time I used my NHIF. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ya yeah, check up. Yeah, because hata ukigonjeka ni chemist hapo hivyo. Eh over the counter. Yeah. Mm. Uh, na shughuli umemaliza hivyo. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah matatizo ya wanaume wengi by the way hiyo yeah. sijui kama pia ni kwa wanawake faith tutakuwa natuambia frank dida mm-hmm. check up uh, i can't remember the last time i went for a check up <laughs> 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 mimi pia sikumbuki mara ya mwisho kwenda mm-hmm. check up by the way mm-hmm. so sio unaona kwa wanaume wanne mm-hmm. ndani ya hii studio hakuna hata mmoja anaenda check up faith sijui kwa wanawake ni hivyo maana kuna mambo ya breast cancer unaweza kudetect ukiwa mapema sana mm-hmm. but niyo ni kama unaenda for regular check ups mm-hmm. uh, Naweza sema kwamba wanawake unlike wanaume sisi huenda for those checkups mm-hmm. like breast cancer uh, and any other cancers compared to wanaume kwa sababu mara mingi mm-hmm. uh, wanaume nadhani ni kama anaona ni kama mwili kwa sawa tu mm-hmm. maumivu kidogo ataona ni kama alifanya kazi ngumu mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm kwa tuna tunawasihi tu pale wanaume na pia wanawake ambao hawaendi mm-hmm. ni muhimu sana kwenda kufanya check up ndio vitu kama hivi at least unaweza kudetect ikiwa bado ni mapema sana yes. message yako kwa watu ambao wanaishi na saratani uh, faith ninaweza sema kwamba kwa watu ambao wanaishi na saratani jipe moyo surround yourself na the people who love you mm-hmm. the people who listen to you kuwa the final decision maker people will come with so many advices kwako mm-hmm. but be the final decision maker mm-hmm. and live the moment you're in mm-hmm. kwa sababu kansa inakuja na vitu mingi sana mm-hmm. wacha ku, kufanya mawazo i, i, like you overthink mm-hmm. kwa sababu wakati unaanza kuwaza sana kwamba kesho sitakuwa that is what kills uh, your your healing mm-hmm. na chamaana sana with cancer healing it all starts with a positive mindset positive mindset yes faith lazima we talk about your husband a yeah. supportive one ama aliposikia <laughs> manake tumshakuwa na survivor wa cancer by the way uh, sorry to say lakini anasema bwana alipona he mm. bimbi ameshikwa saratani akaingia mitini mm-hmm your husband faith mwanzo acha niseme kwamba nilikutana bwanangu alikutana na mimi uh-huh. kama mimi ni mgonjwa already ah, okay. kwa hivyo alikuwa hajawahi nijua kama mimi ni mzima until just the other day oh, wow. so na him dai yote he has been so 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 supportive uh-huh. ame actually yeye ndo amekuwa kilipa most bills mm-hmm. like ilifika mwisho kabisa now during the cancer treatment mm-hmm. sasa ndo ikakuwa kwamba tufanye mchango at least tuongeze mm-hmm. ile kidogo alikuwa amebakia nayo kwa kaunti yake kwa sababu sasa the three surgeries nilikuwa nafanya ni yeye alikuwa analipia mm-hmm. yes best shout out it's best best shout out yeye bwana is a supportive husband inadwa sana kupatikana inadwa sana tena nakupata wakati ambapo unajua at your lowest mm. yes at, ah. at my lowest yeah. nakumbuka marafiki zake walikuwa wanamwambia unafanya nini na wewe msichana mgonjwa imagine Yaani hiyo ilikuwa ni kamati ya marafiki hiyo ndo anasema hivyo. Yes. Washindwe kabisa oh. <laughs> Na wale again. Such kind of friends washindwe kabisa. Hi Alex, uh, nakupenda sana. 
na hata wewe unajua nakupenda sana. Oh, hata yeye anajua. Hiyo ni hata ina mjadala yani hata yeye anajua. Uh, Alex we celebrate you. Mm-hmm. Faith we celebrate you. Keep, keep on fighting. Mm-hmm. Na kama kuna yote pale labda atajitokeza na nafasi ya kazi, how do watakurich namna gani? Naweza peana namba. Wewe shida watakusumbua. <laughs> <laughs> ama pia mitandao kijamii hata ile hey, YouTube yako kusubscribe ni maana yake namba asijui lakini kama uko na ile ya labda ya ya raia unaweza <laughs> toa hiyo ama peana ya mzee kama ukisumbua <laughs> sumbue mzee ah acha ni peana namba okay 0718 social media niko na YouTube channel Faith Msoli please subscribe TikTok Faith Msoli ah uh, Facebook na kila mahali Instagram Faith Mswali. Alright. Yes. So number ni 07 18 90 Okay. Yes. So naweza kumreach hapo kama watu serious peke yake jamani. Msianze kumpigia Faith mkimuuliza kama ako single, ako available kwa coffee <laughs> date na ashasema tayari ako na bwana yake. Faith wewe ndo na log out kipindi leo. Sisi kazi tuna kazi. Sio wewe ulisomea uandishi wa habari? Si ndio. Wewe ndo na log out. Nafunga hii segment ya Survivor Series ukimpisha sama mani tu. Tunampisha sama mani tu tunapiga habari za sasa. Ingawa pia kidogo tu alinanisumbua tu nitaka kuuliza ingawa hilo wa wengi wao wasemi uko ali 20s mid 20s mid 20s ali 30s juu na nikalia kadogo dogo hivi sana. Ah mimi niko 33 years. Ah. Sawa. Uh-huh. Nilikuwa najua tu ni hapo ali 30 zikenya sana. <laughs> yes. Eh, lakini anakaa anakaa late 20s. Mm. Eh, so siri ni nini by the way? Tumeji maintain vizuri. Si. What is the secret? Siri ni Yesu. <laughs> <laughs> Hata si log out tosha. <laughs> Siri ni nini? Siri ni Yesu. Ukitaka kuwa mdogo mdogo. <laughs> <laughs> so umesema si log out tumemaliza. Tumemaliza <laughs> Survivor Series Faith Nsoli. Thank you for coming. Asante. Keep, uh, keep on fighting all the best. Thank you.